you've just locked in to the latest and the greatest on the Android system. This is the channel that gives you information every day and every way possible. Make sure you go ahead and you hit that like button and hit the bell as well. Subscribe and become a member of the family. Check out the full catalog of videos that I've made just for you and I'll see you right after these messages. Peace. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Serrano. I'm out here in the heart of nature today, taking it outside, changing up a little bit. Um, we're, today we're going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy Halo from Cricut Wireless. So today I actually want to review some of those features with you and actually find out if this is worth the purchase. So here we have the Samsung Galaxy Halo. Now the Samsung Galaxy Halo is from Cricut Wireless. Right now they have the phone at $179.99 no contract required so i was able to get it with the port over special all i had to do was pay an activation fee and the first month service so without any further ado let's talk about the samsung galaxy halo so with the samsung galaxy halo what you're getting is a um a pretty much a 5.5 inch smartphone and you're going to see here that it does have curved 2.5 the glass also the samsung galaxy halo does support octa core 1.6 gigahertz arm cortex a53 clock speed it also has a chipset that is samsung akinos 7 octa core 7870 and it has um, a gpu arm molly t830 uh, mp2 gpu also the back camera is an 8 megapixel camera with led and af uh, rear camera also on the front you're going to be getting a 5 megapixel front camera with an LED flash so that's actually really cool that they did include you know the flash on the front and the back in addition to that we do have a 720 um, display panel right here and also you're actually getting a 33 100 milliour removable battery so they have this feature right here where you can actually open up the phone and take out the battery replace it um, if you actually have some spares in there but they do support SD card support and it has a sim card tray right here inside of it so that's actually pretty cool that you can remove that battery so they're calling this the black color it actually looks more like a you know anthracite um, granite color like a really dark charcoal color which is really nice and then to complement they have this metal strip going all the way across it that um, is actually connected to the speaker we're getting that later in some more detail um, but in, in addition to that it does actually have a gyroscope there's no fingerprint sensor or anything like that but it does support you know proximity sensors accelerometers compass and everything like that in a hall sensor also you know this thing is 179.99 and it's actually worth the money because it comes packed with a whole bunch of features the phone is really reliable and it actually surprised me it's 267 pixels per inch on the screen so that's actually pretty cool the display is a tft display so it's not like that amulet display that's going to be you know knocking your socks off or anything like that but the display panel is pretty impressive you know just to say the least so let's just talk about the build quality of this phone right here this thing is really nice in the hand as you can see i could almost i could completely put, wrap my hand around it as you can see my hand doesn't gather that many fingerprints here now my hand is a little moist so you know what you want to do it, it's going to get some you know um you know fingerprints some somewhere there here and there but it's not going to be too crazy also what you're going to notice is that at the top you do get that flash right here and then right here it's just you know the camera so there's no like notification light or anything like that and that's what i did notice it does have that home button uh most recent apps button the back button and then when we actually look here it does have branding at the top with the earphone um you know so you could actually hear through that 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 earphone so that thing was really sharp when i was talking to people over the phone um I, I, that hd voice did come in the um to play and it did it was actually a game changer i was quite impressed 
with the quality of the calls on there. So if you can see right here on the right hand side, we do get that button to turn it off and on. Right here above it is a, the placement of the speaker. Now that's actually quite interesting. Never seen that on a smartphone where the speaker was actually placed there. But that thing was quite impressive just to say the least. And uh, we'll, I'll test out some of the sound quality later in the video. So make sure you stay locked in. On the bottom here, we do get that headphone jack, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So that thing is really nice because when you put the phone in your pocket, it's not gonna get in the way or anything like that. So I really do prefer to have that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right at the bottom, which is actually the perfect placement. Then you get that USB connector, which is not type C, it's just that standard um, USB uh, connector. Then we do get a microphone right on the bottom, right next to it. When you turn it on to the right side of it, you do see that nice design there. You've got some curved 2.5D curved edges. Here you can see the volume rocker. It's not shaky or anything like that. This thing is solid. Those buttons in there are really solid. You really have to press them to get you know some resistance. Um, so that thing was built really nice, all plastic metal body. This thing is solid in my hand. It did feel really premium, just to say the least. It didn't feel like I was gonna crush it or anything like that. Now they did double up with the microphone, so there's a noise cancellation and another microphone at the top. So that was actually really Another thing to note was that um, when I was actually outdoors with this thing, um, I it, right now it's cranked up to full percent brightness, but if I turn that down, I'm not going to be able to see anything whatsoever. But if I put that on the 50% mark, um, to the naked eye, I could see everything crystal clear. So anything like even 33%, I was good, you know, maybe even 10% the least because I'm in direct sunlight right now. And on the screen, it might look a little bit darker, but um, if I crank that thing up to 100% brightness, that thing is crystal clear. So all I needed to do was put it up to like, you know, 33% and I was actually good every single time. I mean, this thing has some really good viewing angles outdoors. So text messaging on here was actually really nice. This thing was really smooth. I didn't have any problems with the keyboard. Those keys felt really good every single time I was pressing them, really responsive. Um, I didn't get a whole any any like lag when I was typing the keys or anything like that. Um, so you can see here it did have like a ton of emojis to choose from pretty much all the emojis here it did have those old school scam song emojis um, but that wasn't a problem whatsoever I actually did like the way they looked because um, it had so many options here to choose from now when it came to the Google Maps and actually you know mapping in something and from start to finish um, you know, that process here was really smooth. I mean, I'm trying to hold my umbrella and the camera at the same time, which is really difficult. But just to show you right here, that that Google Maps is butter smooth. I mean, this is probably one of the best GPS systems that I've seen in, in a device. I mean, from start to finish, it's gonna walk you through your path. There weren't any hiccups or anything like that. The, the process here was really smooth and I wasn't getting redirected and any any time um using this device i mean i was in my gps using the gps in a car on a bike on a skateboard and i mean this thing was actually really precise every single time and i didn't have any problems whatsoever i was actually quite impressed just to say the least now when it came to the gameplay on the samsung galaxy halo I was quite impressed, just to say the least. I mean, this thing never stuttered, not once. It never hiccuped or jammed or anything like that. This thing was really responsive. The gameplay on here was quite impressive, just to say the least. I mean, this thing was surprising me. Um, the frames were just really smooth. Everything was really fluent, as you can see right here. So, you know, I was actually playing this game and we're reviewing it for someone on the channel that wanted to check out some of the graphics on here but as you can see this thing was really nice just to say the least look how smooth that gameplay is uh, everything is really smooth um i didn't have any problems or complaints whatsoever i mean i was quite impressed just to say the least so you know gameplay on here i, I could pretty much run any game on here and not like you know 
have any like belly aches or you know anything like that i was just really shocked how good this thing was performing you know um gameplay was really smooth everything like that um, so I could highly recommend this game, easily recommend this to anybody who's actually wants to use a phone just for gaming. This thing definitely um, exceeded my expectations when it came to like gameplay and performance and everything like that. So um, I was quite impressed with it just to say the least. I had no complaints whatsoever. The Wi-Fi right here you can see it's connected to the 5 gigahertz band. They have Bluetooth, Vibrate, also Mute and um you know mute si silence or mute and then you do get that um flashlight button airplane mode auto rotate you can go to portrait power saving mode which is actually pretty cool i didn't actually get a chance to use that whatsoever but here you can see it says medium power savings mode and it does actually let you apply that option if you do want to go ahead and do that you could actually customize it and you know set up how you want that battery to actually you know power throughout the day so I actually do have that set up just to the standard mode you can go ahead and reset it if you want or apply then they get this option here that says allow apps to run in the background so you could actually allow you know background ne network usage I actually have that turned off let's go back one more time check out that again and then you can see right here they do include the hotspot also the secure folder which is actually pretty cool that secure folder is something i'll get in later in some more detail location smart view um, which, which lets you connect to other devices right here and it actually looks for my um you know tv and everything like that so i could actually mirror my screen to the tv and everything like that so i was quite impressed with that feature mirroring the screen basically means that whatever's on your phone is going to be displayed on your tv or whatever device or monitor you connect it to you can see there's a do not disturb option actually right here at the top left corner you can actually reorder the button so you could actually drag up and add additional features here so that, that's actually pretty cool and then right here they do give you the option for outdoor mode um, show control on top and you can actually adjust the brightness to your preference so that's for the notification you can see it does have that accordion like feature right here for the um, you know the panel the drop down panel and you can see that we're actually running on 7.0 nougat it wasn't really said or not and no one's really sure if it's going to get the android uh 8.0 oreo but you can see the latest security patch is october 1st still haven't received any updates yet on this device so i'm just waiting for that to roll charge your lock screen sounds activate those to your preference actually dialing keypad tones on um, keyboard sounds and vibration everything like that customize the sound quality and then you do get right here which is actually really cool sound quality and effects equalizer so you can actually go ahead and adjust the sound quality to your preference and let you mess with the bass and tremolo instrument and vocal everything like that adapt the sound so you see best fit right here so they have some really good features here when it comes to the sound so that was quite impressive that i did notice all those different features there also you can play play around with the notifications of the different apps go to advanced and mess with it to your preference they do have this advanced setting right here which is actually pretty cool one-handed operation mode i'll show you that in a few minutes also you do get quick camera launch multi-window which is actually pretty cool i'll show you that as well and then you can get direct call smart alert uh, smart alert is basically when your phone will vibrate you pick it up and it'll it'll shake in your hand to let you know if you missed a call or a message or anything like that so that was actually cool then it had this mode right here called direct call where you bring the phone to your ear when you're in the contact menu and it actually makes the call for you so that there's some smart technology in this thing it has some really cool features mute calls and alarms by turning the phone face down those are some really advanced features that are actually really cool but then they had this one as well where if you're actually you could press that power th key three times and send a quick alert to one of your emergency contacts if you're in emergency so they have some really cool features in here that you know i was quite surprised just to see say the least also if you go right here you can see that they do have this advanced device maintenance system where you could actually go to the storage and it'll clean your phone out 
automatically. So just go ahead, click that button and it's just gonna optimize your phone. So that was really impressive as well. Now let's just talk about that secure folder one more time because I think that was pretty cool. Just long press that and you can get inside the security um, settings for the security folder into your pin everything like that customize these options to your personal preference you could choose like a lock screen option and um, once you enter that if you do password pin or pattern and then when you get in um, the actual let's just go to the gallery for a second let's just long press these two items and then we can go right here and then just basically move to secure folder basically access your password one more time those items are now moved to the secure folder and then all you have to do to get back into the secure folder is basically just click that option right here that's the secure folder and to your password so you can get inside your Samsung Galaxy Halo secure folder then you see those items are actually locked in right there and secure go ahead and you can move them right back out from the secure folder to the gallery again right here and then they're they're actually going to be stored right there inside the gallery again so that's actually pretty cool so with the two gigs of ram it's not going to like open up the game to where it last was or anything like that you're basically going to have to you know reset the phone and like start the game over and everything but um you know it was a good experience as far as like just gameplay performance it, i didn't it didn't matter how many windows i had open i didn't really notice any lag or anything like that um, you could access the multi um, window right here just by pressing that button where it says multitasking and then just um, this button right here you hold that down and then press the two desired apps of your choosing you get landscape or portrait and then you can access that that screen um, also by just pressing that one time and then just holding this one dragging all the way to the top where it says split screen window and then just drop that down right there and just choose the two apps of your preference. Now it's a really wet, rainy day, and I'm just checking out some footage on, on the full HD mode for this Samsung Galaxy Halo. Let's check out how that, that, that um, rear-facing camera, 8 megapixel, zooms into some of these shots. So you can see that rear-facing camera definitely handles um, some of this 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 um, footage here really well, and I'm actually really surprised how well that looks. Um, so you can see that has the um, autofocus. It's actually sun's trying to peek outside of the clouds, but it's not happening because it's like a really rainy day and it's really wet out here. Um, but definitely getting some really good footage on these cameras. So that Samsung Galaxy Halo definitely is doing a really good job taking some, some really good rear-facing camera shots. So you can see I'm still with that full HD setting, and let's just check out that auto zoom, zoom feature one more time. So that actually zoomed in within like a second or two and that did look surprisingly good there. Um, I'm really, really shocked and really pleased um, on how the footage is coming out here. Um, definitely didn't expect, I didn't expect a whole lot of um, anything when I got this phone, but after using the phone and 
you know, playing around with it. Um, you can see it's finally zooming in there, autofocus, and that does e extremely well um, on that rear facing camera. So when it comes to the Samsung Galaxy Halo, the performance is really good for this device. I mean, that 1.6 octa-core processor on the Aquino Samsung, um, you know, basically like that, that processor is really powerful. It has that 5.5 HD display panel, which is pretty much the sweet spot for me. Definitely go for like six inches, but when I saw this phone and I saw that it came with the 32 gigs of ROM, I was quite impressed. And then it had, it's paired with that two gigs of RAM, which is not the best in the world, but it actually it is really efficient and really nice. I didn't experience any lag when I was going through that multitasking window, and I just wanted to, you know, access different things inside that multitasking window. As you can see, you can store a lot of apps inside that multitasking window, and it didn't have, it didn't experience any slowdown whatsoever. So the performance on here is quite impressive. Almost forgot this thing was a mid-range phone sometimes. Also, that panel isn't going to be the best in the world, but you don't even notice that it's 720. Um, once you start using it for some time here um, so I definitely do think these colors on here and the saturation is are true to life definitely like some of the colors on here the screen brightness when it came to outdoor visibility was quite impressive and that thing did get pretty pretty bright there it's actually blinding me at that highest setting uh, let's put it back to the middle again but you do get a whole bunch of different options here those cameras the 8 megapixel and the 5 were quite impressive and they both record in full HD which was quite impressive and they also have the flash on the front and the back you also get a removable battery and that battery does last for quite some time I actually did make it through a full day plus more with heavy use a few times here so I was quite impressed with that battery um, now the connectivity to the internet is quite impressive just to say the least I mean this thing did handle every single game I threw at it I didn't have any problems whatsoever when it came to the Samsung Galaxy Halo like I could definitely recommend this thing there's actually some phones that are a little bit cheaper that kind of have the same you know type of performance but this thing is a great performer and I can't complain in any way possible I mean I was trying to find things that I could like shortcut this thing with or like basically find its flaws and uh some of the you know the cons about it but most of the most of the thing what the thing about it was that the pros definitely outweighed any cons that it did offer i mean the only thing i could say is that it's not 1080p other than that this thing is beautiful i mean you can't even tell it's not 1080p this thing is a beautiful display performs really nice it doesn't have nfc so that's like the second thing i would say other than that but you know the the sound is good 
Uh, the battery is really nice. It definitely has some really good build quality here. This thing is solid. I um, didn't even really need a case for this thing. It fit perfectly in my hands. It's perfect size. Definitely could use this thing for one handed operation and everything like that. Definitely had some really cool features like that triple click to get to the one handed operation. Also double click to get to the camera which was quite impressive. So, I mean, this thing did come with a whole bunch of different features for that $179.99 from Cricut Wireless. So I got this thing with the port over special for like, you know, pretty much zero down, but then you had to pay the activation fee and the first bill. So, you know, like 60 bucks, but I couldn't complain in any way possible when it came to this thing. This thing definitely was a performer. Definitely could recommend this thing to anybody who's looking to get the Samsung Galaxy Halo. Uh, definitely want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. If you found any information here helpful in any way possible, definitely click that like button right now. Go ahead, hit the bell as well so you can get notified on the next video that I will release on the channel. And Thank you for joining the family uh thank you for staying tuned it's your boy serrano and in the meantime have a great morning afternoon evening depending where you are have a great night peace